Hello everybody. Today we are going to talk about oxygen sensors and I'm actually going to show you how to replace one and a little bit of diagnosis too. The car with us here is a 1990 300SL. It's in beautiful condition. It's got 68,000 miles on it and it's got a minor hiccup when it starts warm. In fact, during its warm start, what happens is that the accelerator, when depressed once and only once, causes a hiccup, a pop, and the car struggles for power for about 10 seconds, then it's fine. Now, when you have a problem like that, there are a number of avenues that it could be that, that you can go down to look for the issue, but after troubleshooting a number of things, I have arrived at the conclusion that it's probably the car's oxygen sensor. The oxygen sensor is in the exhaust system, and so I said, what a great opportunity to make a video. I'm going to show you guys how to replace an oxygen sensor, and then for part two of this video, we are going to determine if this actually fixed the car or not. So part one, oxygen sensor, here we go. Now this is the old oxygen sensor right here. And for ease of removal, I'm actually just going to cut the, oh, I thought about cutting the plug, but first off, I'm going to try to remove it with a crow's foot wrench. A crow's foot wrench is about like this. It fits onto a socket. It gives you, in this case, it's an open end, and all oxygen sensors are a 22 millimeter or in the case you don't have a 22, um, a 7 8 wall, so it'll work. Okay, so here we have our next, our new oxygen sensor. It's from Mercedes because, you know, you want the best quality part possible. And if you buy one from Bosch, you may have to splice a new head on, which I don't really like to do. I think it looks kind of goofy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm simply going to take the oxygen sensor I'm going to screw it into the exhaust system where it went, right here. You always want to screw this in by hand. You do not want to screw it in using a tool. You want it to fit in nicely, screw in precisely. That way you don't damage the threads in the exhaust system because that's not something you want to mess up. Finally, here we have our incredibly useful 22 millimeter crow's foot, which I personally think made this job a breeze. And um, if you're looking for a tool like this, you can buy almost anything like this from a company called Bomb Tools in Sarasota, Florida that makes precision, uh, they sell precision German tools from Star Willy and they're Star Willy's U.S. distributor. So they have the best prices and best supply of German Star Willy wrenches. If you use a Star Willy wrench, it will absolutely not let you down. It is basically the Cadillac of, of wrenches because it it, it reliably it reliably grips just about everything it touches. This is not high torque. It only needs about 25, 30 foot-pounds to seal up. Heat will do the rest. And then you can see the plug on this thing. This might be a little bit funny for some, and it's hard to film, but the plug uses a rotating cap. And the plug the plug cap rotates backwards to come unplugged and it rotates forwards or down to get plugged in. And once you rotate it, it locks the plug in place. Also, up in here, there are brackets that have little plastic retainers that hold the, spar the uh, wires to the oxygen sensor onto the transmission tunnel and you should make sure that you put the right clips in those. They're a typical Mercedes horseshoe clip, um, white in color that snaps in place right in that hole. And you see the fuel pressure gauges on the 300SL. The way I know that my 300SL's oxygen sensor is helping it is because of the, of the before and after result. 
my before result was an operating pressure of 6.3 bar with an oscillation of about 0.1 bar. Now I'm at 6.2 bar, which essentially means my mixture is more correct, actually a little bit richer, and an oscillation of about 0.2 bar on my needle to show that the engine computer is actually reading the input from the oxygen sensor and is turning it into a viable result, which you can see in the minute movements of the fuel pressure gauge. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. In the future, I hope you change your own oxygen sensor and we will do more videos on KE Jetronics. Like us on our, like our YouTube channel, please keep subscribing and please keep sending your questions. Thank you.